Thank you for watching this free video tutorial from MoGraphPlus.com. Please make sure to visit our website and check out our premium courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Arnold, V-Ray, Maxwell, Motion Graphics and much more. And also please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Vimeo to enjoy our free video tutorials. Okay, in this lesson we are going to be talking about one of the lovely lighting tools in V-Ray which is V-Ray Light Lister. As the name suggests, the tool allows you to list all the V-Ray for Cinema 4D lights and also lets you control the most important features of any light in the scene in a convenient location. Uh, if I go to my V-Ray Bridge menu and from the workflow you have the V-Ray Light Lister. In this particular scene we have two light lights, uh, this light and light 01. So if I open up my V-Ray Light Lister, and we can control the most important aspects of any light. So if I just go ahead and actually run my IPR here. Okay. Now we can select any particular light in the scene. We can obviously rename them. So let's rename this to light 01 and this to light 02. Okay. Uh, you can control the type of the light and change it to Omni, Spot, Infinite, Area, Parallel or Ambient. Uh, obviously you can control the overall intensity of any light. So let's go to something with like 70 instead of 35. And as you can see the immediate change was like 15. Okay, let me get back to 7.5 here. Obviously you can control the unit, the color of the light the shadow subdivision, caustic subdivision, and also you can turn on and off shadow. So if I turn on shadow for my main light and you sometimes need to actually restart the IPR to see the changes. So as you can see now we have no shadow. And if I enable it again and run the IPR, I rerun the IPR, we have our shadows back. So it's a very lovely future. Imagine if you have a lot of lights in your scene and you wanna control them in one convenient place, you can use your very light lister so that's about very light lister in this section we talked about lighting in v-ray for cinema 4d and in the next section we start discussing global illumination see you there thank you for watching this free video tutorial from mographplus.com please make sure to visit our website and check out our premium courses for cinema 4d 3ds max arnold v-ray maxwell motion graphics and much more and also please make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on facebook twitter and vimeo to enjoy our free video tutorials